What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about a question that I've been seeing a lot of people ask when it comes to Modern Warfare 3 and the current battle pass we have right now in Modern Warfare 2, and if that will carry over from MW2 to Modern Warfare 3 once it launches here in a couple weeks. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Over the past couple of years, we have seen a lot of the battle passes at the end of one game's life cycle kind of carry over to the next game. And a lot of people have been asking this question, what do they need to do to get the Season uh, 6 Battle Pass done. Do they need to complete it before MW3 launches? Can they still work on it or continue to work on it once MW3 launches? And over on the Call of Duty Twitter, they uh, answered this question. They said they've seen some questions about the Season 6 Battle Pass and wanted to provide some additional details. The Call of Duty uh, Season 6 Battle Pass will remain active until Season 1 in Modern Warfare 3, of course, begins later this year. When MW3 launches on uh, November the 10th, MW3 players will earn Battle Pass XP in the Season 6 Battle Pass. Of course, then it says stay tuned for more intel on Season 1 in the coming months. Right now, the rumor is pretty much, because uh, we have no official confirmation from uh, Sledgehammer, that Season 1 in Modern Warfare 3 will begin sometime in December. But you will still have time, even when MW3 launches, to finish that Season 6 Battle Pass. So if you've not completed it, if you're like me, I'm about 50-something percent into the Battle Pass. Once MW3 launches, you're still going to earn that Battle Pass XP for that Season 6 Pass. So that's just going to be something else that carries over into MW3 from Modern Warfare 2. Now, we have seen this, like I said, kind of at the start of the video. We have seen this in past years kind of happen. And that is why I think a lot of people were kind of curious if this was going to be the case, considering when they saw the time frame of the Battle Pass that we have right now for Season 6. It was a long time frame. It wasn't like a very short, you know, like 30-day pass or something like that. You know, it had a lot of days on it. So I think a lot of people were assuming that it was going to carry over, but that question really didn't get answered until we got that official information from, like I said, that Call of Duty Twitter, that the Season 6 Battle Pass will remain active until Season 1 begins later this year. So I just want to make a quick video letting you guys know if you have not finished that Season 6 Battle Pass, don't worry. You will not have to have it completed before MW3 comes out because you will still be able to earn Battle Pass XP in Season uh, in season 6 once you start playing Modern Warfare 3. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.